Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today, I just wanted to have a little chat with you all because we are done quarter one. It feels weird. We are heading into April, and I thought I would round up like all of the stationery that I've acquired. Uh, in theory, I've been on like a no low spend um, just this month, but apparently, um, my spending. <laughs> <laughs> and my purchase history indicates otherwise, but I thought I would share you some new acquisitions as well as share some favorites that I have really, really enjoyed um, in the past few uh, months. But we'll start with like some of the things that I don't really share um, on um, on YouTube, I guess. But this is the first thing that I bought um, at the beginning of the year. This is actually the Manga and I drawer patch from Hobonichi. Amazon America, I think, or USA um, had this on sale. It wasn't much of a sale after the fact when I had to um, pay for like taxes and shipping because I am based in Canada. And this, I, I did... Um, save a little bit but um, it wasn't the biggest <laughs> savings but um, I think if you were able to snag this um, and you lived in America it was actually a really good deal um, this is the medium size I think drawer pouch there's like the smaller one the smallest one like a small ish one that's kind of like a pencil case this one which kind of feels like a wallet style um, or ephemeral holder type situation and then um, there's like the larger kind of um, a5 ish size i think it fits the cousin i think don't quote me on that um but this fits the hobonichi weeks i'll just grab it for you i actually was really enabled by um courtney little raven inks um video about this but i haven't really brought it out much and used it um i just love looking at it but um the fabric is also very easily like um scuffed and marked up and i've just been using it like here and there so i'm kind of nervous for it it's going to definitely turn a different color at some point but it's really nice roomy all the washi samples that you can dream of bringing you can bring it in here ephemera can go in here um i've seen people put markers and pencils in here but i just don't have a solid setup for this so um it is very pretty but right now I don't know if I should hold on to it or sell it or keep it just because I love looking at it. Um, it's just such a cool design, but I haven't been getting much use out of this one. Um, this is not new. Uh, that's a spring start Hobonichi. And then I made a video about these two traveler's notebooks that I really um, enjoyed restoring. This is the Narita Airport one that I restored on a video. And this is also, I think this was actually brand new, like, um, but well, never open. But these are two older Traveler's Notebooks because th these have the Midori stamping instead of the Traveler's Company stamping. Been loving these. Made a whole video about that. Um, I'll be sure to link it. And then <laughs> I thought I was done with <laughs> with all of those uh, <laughs> Traveler's Notebooks. But then I think this is kind of like February purchases right here. Um, I've been hunting this down for the longest time. This is oh. I'm so happy to finally show it on YouTube. This is the Moomin X Travelers Company collab. Honestly, I feel like a fake fan because I don't know much about Moomin. I just, uh, I one of those like collector uh, fanboy moments kind of came up and came over me and I was on the hunt for this and these are going for like really, really extensive prices online, like almost 400 Canadian dollars. Um, on some sites i was able to get it for not very expensive it was still way not super way over the uh purchasing price or the original price um, that it was being sold at but um i got it at a reasonable price so i had to jump on it and i didn't get any other accessories with it, it i also it did come with the moomin cover which is sorry not moving moomin cover the moomin traveler's notebook this is actually really nice i think this is one of the nicer limited edition covers because it's actually all um, letterpress. You can actually feel the deboss on it and it feels so cool. It's like really thick cardstock and I just love the movement aesthetic. Um, and the coat actually matches um, my washi tapes that I released. Um, it's really nice. I'll read you the quote. You must go on a long journey before you can really find out how wonderful home is. Isn't that such a nice quote? Um, so I got that in February. Um, I don't know if this was February or March, but I remember the 
the Sakura collaboration with R- Starbucks Roastery um, and Traveler's Company came out and I had to hunt to find this. Uh, luckily, I messaged Taizo from Inukshik Japan and he was able to secure this for me because it was a really hot ticket item. Um, but it is cherry blossom season right now. It, like the Right outside my window, I can see cherry blossom. So this is like the perfect uh, little charm to celebrate that season. Um, I also got um, the limited edition insert that has like the rose gold foiling and all of the uh, little um, illustrations from different sites in Nakameguro where Traveler's Factory is. I thought this was a nice insert. I didn't get the washi tape that came with this collection, which is weird because I definitely would have gotten the washi over the insert. I don't know what came over me, but yeah, this is another thing checked off the list. And then um, a friend um, and um, uh, a lovely uh, person in the community, um, in the stationary community, Mirai Cat or Cat um, on Instagram, um, actually helped me acquire the Moomin TN. Um, and when she sent it over, I also um, asked if I could. Um, well, she actually offered to sell me her um, passport size traveler's notebook. Um, because uh, she wanted to give it a new home and um, I've been hunting all of the Midori Stamp Traveler's Notebooks. I actually don't have a passport one to myself. I gave it um, as a gift to my dad and so I didn't have one for myself. So I thought oh, I would just buy um, this from Kat. It's in lovely condition. I also just um, um, restored it slightly by just adding some mink oil to it. Um, but other than that, it's in pretty nice condition and the color looks fantastic. Um, and then... <laughs> This is from uh, the Stationery Selection X um, Little Raven Ink collaboration. I actually made a Stationery Selection um, purchase um, and Mitz also helped me. Uh, Mitz and Kat helped me get this uh, TN because the Moomin TN because Mitz helped ship it out to me. Um, and I also made a purchase from the Stationery Selection. So I thought I would show you... Um, this little lovely pouch i've been loving this so much i actually bring this pretty much everywhere um it's a perfect size this is the superior labor kind of small size pouch but it actually holds a perfect amount of washi tape rolls um and i want to show you three of my current faves which are actually by mitts uh, herself so my life mitts um, we all know mitts we all love mitts she also runs the stationary selection and i love these tapes this one is like a kind of watercolory one uh, this one is like black with white flowers or leaf petals and this has the faintest kind of grid uh, pattern paper i'm just going to show you i have a little swatch on my thinking of you notebook Let's see, right here. I love these three and I've been loving um, how layerable these are. So I've been using these a lot and I even um, wanted to showcase them here because it's just too good. It's just it's such a nice, um, a nice color scheme, these three all together because we have the color here and then these are more neutral, which is totally my vibe. And then um, this is actually moving forward to kind of, I guess now these are, uh, a late birthday gift from um, a really, really good friend of mine. Her name is Kat. Um, she's such an awesome friend. She knows that I ha love Lily of the Valley and gifted me this lovely soda clear tape. So if you haven't used a soda tape um, before, it's just like a clear tape, almost just like, um, like the clear tape that you would find at like an office supply store, but it's like 10 times way better because it has a lovely print on it so this has lily of the valley on it and this is both by the same brand as um soda which is under um hitotoki uh, i've never purchased a notebook from them but this is like a lovely like diary um it's like a day per page diary um undated i want to dive into this once i finish um my a6 journal which we'll talk about in a little bit but yeah i've been really loving these three at uh, four tapes and Honestly, this is my capsule collection right now of washi tapes. I might as well just show you. This is another tape from the collaboration between the Stationery Selection X um, Little Raven Ink. This is like my ride or die red classic -y tape. I'm almost done. I don't know what I'm going to do when this is finished. And then the, the now discontinued 18 millimeter grid from 
um, Classic-y, the, sorry, the grid tape from classic -y. This is another ride or die. I don't know what I'm going to do when I finish that roll because then it's all fully gone. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like a little um, tape capsule collection of things that, sorry, tapes that I like to bring around and use. And then I put a few samples at the back, some cut out um, samples and rolled samples here because I want to use them. And this is like the perfect um, little capsule to bring around uh, during, uh, I guess, uh, cafe journaling and outside journaling if you're journaling outside. Uh, but yeah, that's another, <laughs> we bought so much apparently, but that was a gift. This was a gift. Uh, this one was a gift and uh, this is not a gift. I purchased this and then, oh, I'm on again, like a Thanos like quest to complete the infinity stone. Sorry. This is a Marvel reference, uh, to get all of the Midori stamp travelers notebooks. I want to do a, a deep dive video into the history of travelers company. And I actually managed to get one of the first, um, batch of travelers notebooks where the stamping on the back doesn't just say midori it says midori co ltd or co limited um at the back and it's it's really crazy it's um this i think was only in production for a year and it feels really special um i thought i would have to pay like uh, a crazy amount to own this but um i managed to get it for um not too bad. I think the Moomin Traveler's Notebook was actually more expensive still, but I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. This is definitely probably, I think, in my opinion, one of the rarer Traveler's Notebooks that I have, um, even though it just presents itself like a regular <laughs> plain Traveler's Notebook. I did have to do um, a restoration with the tin clasp and elastic, and I did have to condition the leather. Um, the leather is actually amazing. I think this is one of the nicest um, aged Traveler's Notebooks I have like I don't know there's just something about the quality of this leather that I absolutely love but happy that I have this in my um, collection and this is actually a sticker book that lives in my um, lives on my desk I put all of my um, sticker sheets that are near finish in here and as well as smaller sticker sheets and other key to tapes here and I just keep this as like a, a little sticker book instead of having you know a larger sticker book that you can purchase from other sites I just want to repurpose all of my covers because this whole collection uh uh, phase of Traveler's Notebook covers isn't the most reasonable, so I still want to like incorporate all these covers into like my daily use so it doesn't go to waste. So I'm trying to find different uses for them. So this is a sticker book that I'm using right now. Um, kind of similar to these King Jim sticker books that I, I have. But I've been really liking it, and this is definitely one of my favorites for this month um, or this uh, this quarter, I guess, because... This is super special and I love how I'm using it almost daily because it has um, all my stickers in it. Okay, we gotta we gotta pick up the pace. Um, this is another... <laughs> I bought so many pencil cases because I'm on like a pencil case hunt. Uh, I feel like this is the closest I will get to pencil case perfection because I love the Euroliku flat tool case. It has this little um like pen section that you can fit here i have one two three four five six seven seven pens and pencils i have three fountain pens here i have a brush pen a pencil from plotter um the the uni mult multi pen i think is what it's called multi ball which is um, a pen that can write on all surfaces and obviously my ride or die pen as of late uniball 1f which is the kind of nicer heavier uniball ones and then i have all my adhesives white out glue um pencil eraser oh no not a pencil eraser and then mini scissors because i realize that i want a pencil case that is kind of minimal and doesn't hold too much so i don't overpack um and then but i also want to have a place where i can see everything that's in it because with other cases, there's, um, oh, like, I don't know. There's just harder to find things at the bottom. And I like how this kind of has an easy access for all these things. So you can still see all your pens, but you can still keep smaller items like this that might kind of get lost in a pen case like this. So this is also new. Again, I have so many new things. I've been apparently on an, well, okay. My no spend started just in March. So 
this i think this is all in february or like maybe possibly early march i don't even know i'm just making excuses for myself um but i also purchased this again on the quest for the best pencil case but i realized this was the best <laughs> that i could get uh so um i definitely suggest this over this this is the um the superior labor tool tool case i think this is actually really aesthetically pleasing i love it and i love natural leather it's my preferred leather of choice um in terms of superior labor products and in general i, I love to collect natural leather items um i like this but it can't hold stuff like this like a tape runner because it's i don't know it just adds um, a lot of bulk to it and this is still really stiff i know maybe in a little bit it could probably um fit it because the leather is still stretching and you know molding so i'll give it another try but as of late i still enjoy this more than this and this is actually more lightweight than this but i would suspect that this is probably more protective than this because this is just canvas but this is handmade in japan just like this actually they're very comparable Euroliku, the brand that makes this is actually really high quality it gives me like tsl the superior labor vibes they use um high quality canvas everything is handmade and and i think this is made in tokyo actually um but yeah, i really enjoy this and i really love how flat this is and this is also the same size as a traveler's notebook so or a little bit smaller but i i just love how when i go to work i just um bring this this is actually my work planner and i just bring this and then if i know that i'm going to be doing um something that's a little bit more involved that involves markers and whatnot i will bring this and that's like my cafe journaling setup um obviously there's no ephemera or stickers here so i'd either pick up another one of these or take a delphonics and stuff these two into the delphonics instead if that's sounding like jargon, I'll leave a pouch video below about the Delphonics um, stationary pouch that's pretty popular within the community. But I realized that I referred to a million different products in like the last past few minutes. Um, and then that leads us to... Um, we'll talk about this, um, the ink in this later. But the last two items that I acquired was the... Koweko um, Iridescent Pearl. This is from Koweko Collection. I think this is one of the nicest Koweko sports that I own. It has a iridescent quality that you just can't... I don't know. It just doesn't pick up on photos and videos. You just need to see this in person. Like The color shifts to purple, to teal, to like a green, to blue. Um, it has that truly pearlescent feel to it and it's also translucent which is nice and i realized that i didn't get transparent and translucent mixed up there which is a miracle um and then this oh man i blame the internet and um spring break because i bought this as a little treat for surviving up until spring break um and I thought I deserved this, even though I purchased like so much already. But this is the Superior Labor A6 um, leather cover for, I guess, any A6 cover or A A6 notebook. This is the Sum Keen Made in France A6 um, universal notebook. So it has all of these lovely dashes in here and helps you make a journal spread real quick. Um, I'll talk this about talk about the actual use of this notebook in like the favorite section of this video, but I absolutely love this notebook, but I also love this cover so much. It's so, so nice. It's actually such good quality and it's so um, sleek and slim and it has, you know, really no pockets on the inside. And I'm actually really thankful about that because I love the pockets but i sometimes get a little carried away with any pockets and i tend to put too much and i just love how this is just like bare bones notebook um and and leather cover and that's it um but i really like this and then <laughs> oh i'm sorry there's more i bought more um this is from this is from a really good friend of mine aaron um, she runs the uh, Instagram account called Journal as Altar and now uh, the shop Journal as Altar. She also teaches um, some journaling centered uh, classes, uh, 
um, related to um, like journal as altar and it's basically like journaling as healing and there's more information on her website but I just love the message because I always journal to kind of um, relieve stress and it's a nice kind of form of uh, self-expression but also um, a place for me to kind of release things that have been you know eating away at me on the inside and it's really like a safe space for me but I wanted to support her shop because look at these wooden stamps the quality is amazing they are all so good um, this one says stationery is the key to my soul this one says I'm making space for complexity which is a beautiful beautiful term this one says magic wand on a fountain pen which is it's true I really feel like um the pen is mightier than the sword and then this one says always writing forever learning and it has a nice fountain pen motif with the stars and then honestly one of the most iconic stamps i've seen i am as vast as the moon and i love anything night skies uh stars galaxy moon stuff so i had to get this one and obviously honestly um i was spoiled by um aaron because i only purchased like three of these and she tossed in two free stamps which is really really kind thank you friend um so be sure to check out aaron um i really want to support um more small businesses i'm happy that i purchased from mitts and aaron this month but i think moving into whoa, moving into quarter uh two i want to support m more small businesses um and less you know larger businesses because it feels nice supporting a fellow friend and creator um and i just love what aaron's doing for the community and um i love what she's making and creating but yeah that's all that i purchased it sounds like i only like bought like two things but i bought like a million stuff but you know what this is my hobby and also something that i really enjoy and all of these things um bring me great joy and when they no longer serve me then it's time to sell or give to friends and family so i don't feel too guilty and i feel really blessed um that i have the opportunity that i can kind of purchase these things for myself um and yeah okay let's talk about some favorites um in quarter one some things that i've discovered some things that i've rediscovered um and also some new things i think i might have not mentioned some of the inks that i purchased um in quarter one so i'll just show them to you um in a little bit but i wanted to show you my daily planner um that i've been using this is the mini five from plotter plotter is a ring organizer company that makes these really thin um, ring organizers with this beautiful like metal metal spine that allows it to open flat i don't think i've showed this very much because i've shown so many other mini 5 covers in the past but this is the one that i've been really loving and i also sewed this little integrated pen um, holder um, but I think in general, I've just been really liking the setup because it's sleek and thin. It actually fits in my um, work bag really easily. Um, but yeah, I really love this setup. It just has my um, daily, weekly, and monthly. I'm not going to show you just in case there's like something private here. No, I'll show you my monthly. And then I have some like gift cards at the back. Um, but I've been also really loving my my sailor pro gear slim mini uh this is like the from the moroccan series and i admittedly <laughs> didn't really like this pen even though this is probably my most expensive fountain pen this is a gold nib fountain pen um i think it's 14k gold um i remember spending like ooh, <laughs> this was probably 200 canadian dollars um and i got it last year but i just realized that the sailor pens have a certain feel to them and i think i might not be the right target market for it um but i realized that maybe it was just the ink i changed the ink out and um it works so much better so i have a sailor ink in here i have sailor uh 224 in here and it writes like a dream i did do some tuning to this nib tuning uh quote unquote i am not trained in any way but i went and got myself some mylar paper um, and kind of tried to smooth it out to my writing angle. Um, I don't want to talk about that in too much detail because I know some people um, are way more talented in that. I just decided to um, do it myself just because I had, well, I had, a, I had 
something to lose i could ruin the nib but i just went slowly and i didn't try to overdo it and now it's really fit to the way i write and the angle in which i write so it feels a lot smoother now and i absolutely love writing with it with the plotter paper it's a dream um and now i love this pen and initially i actually didn't like this pen so i'm really happy that it works for me and i've found a way to make it be um more usable and i absolutely love it now it's definitely up there in my like top favorite pens now um speaking of pens i finally found one of these uni jetstream three color pens uh, this is the more black series um because the ink barrel for the black um ink um capsule or cartridge actually has uh slightly more ink it apparently has 70 percent more ink than the usual refills for these multi pens and so you can see that it has blue and um gr sorry <laughs> blue and red here but the black um the black i guess what is this called a knock or um pushy thingy <laughs> Wow, very technical term um, is um, indicated up here because it does have, you know, more black ink. And I love the Uni Jet Streams. If you didn't know, this is actually the type of pen that comes in your Hobonichi order. Obviously not this one because this is like the special one that has more black ink. But I just love the aesthetic of this and it kind of fits the aesthetic of the Uni Uniball 1. Um, it has that look to it. I don't know. They I know they're not the same pen, but it feels like they're in the same like visual family and i only found this in this berry color but i really like it because it matches my count the lights cover from hobonichi and also my little raven ink um pouch so when i'm journaling with this um it just looks very coordinated um and i do love pink so it works for me um but yeah i love this pen super nice um, and then I want to show you, I think I've shown this maybe in a journal with me video before, but I really enjoy the typo darium calendar. This is, um, a tearaway calendar sheet. This is actually quite pricey because this is actually developed by typo darium. This, um, which is a type foundry. Actually, I don't know if it's, I don't know if the company's typo darium as well, but I know it's it's um, created by a type foundry so that's basically um, a company that makes fonts um, and type um, and so each day they um, share a different font and it just looks really cool and they tell you the information about the different font and i just love learning about a different font each day and also using it in my journal spreads um, i'm hoarding the ones that i don't use at the back over here just so i can use it in the future because it's too iconic and beautiful to to recycle i have recycled a few of them just because i have um other um tearaway calendars as well but i'm trying to keep the ones that i find really appealing and interesting at the back so i can use them in the future for collaging but yeah this is definitely a favorite of mine i kind of look forward to using this calendar like every single day i love looking at the font and i love that it comes in this little box it feels really special and if you're really into design i highly recommend getting one for the following year because i don't know it's nice to learn about different fonts okay um next up i think we'll talk about ink so this is another ink that i acquired uh i think in march um and i said i wasn't gonna buy any more things but i did buy this in march this is um something that i've been wanting to purchase for the longest time this is sailor ink studio 273 because i have been on the hunt for like a really light beigey brown i really love light inks that have a lot of shading properties and i really wanted um this ink from colorverse called chesapeake bay which is from the colorverse usa series i believe um but i can't find it anywhere and i was just looking at um, inks online that kind of have a similar feel to it and i landed on sailor ink studio 273 it's a lovely um beigey brown it writes a little bit darker than the swatch obviously because it's a little bit more concentrated when you're writing with like a fountain pen um but it is this lovely like light brown that has an ever so slightly 
dusty rose undertone um and it's quite shady when you write with it and i actually really enjoy this ink because of its like light lightness and um, shading properties um, and i also wanted to show robert osser's van pen 86 which is inked in my uh, twisby diamond 580 aluminum this is again one of my favorite pens fountain pens and i think these two although they look similar robert oster van pen 86 has more gray in it but it also has that like warm purple undertone i feel like i don't know if it's just me but i do see a little bit of like warm purple in it and it has i don't know it's just a nice ink it doesn't show any of that purple that you see in this swatch it does look more like a um like a mousy mousy brown or like a gray brown but i love these together because this seems like a warmer version of this and this is like kind of a cooler slash neutral version of this so they complement each other and they're both like very writable and very readable sorry writable doesn't make any sense it's very um like uh readable if that is that even a word it is uh <laughs> but yeah i really like these inks um this is what it looks like on the color verse no, uh, coloring um and then yeah i did i also like pilot roshuzuku inaho um but i th feel like i need to write with it more before adding it to my favorites but this is what it looks like against ink studio 670 which i think they're quite similar this is definitely more olive oil-esque and this is a little bit closer to brown but i feel like these are like brother inks or sibling inks because they're very similar okay that's enough ink talk and then um these this combo is immaculate i this is a uh pentel touch pen i don't know what color this is but this is a sachihara ink called chestnut and these two are the same exact shade um the color of this ink pad is pretty much this color and i love it it's like a very warm brown has a little bit of red in it and i feel like this the color of this ink is closer to this color um but i love stamping um my uh wooden stamps um with this ink and then writing a header with this it just seems to go together so well and it's like an, a nice match made in heaven i also want to mention that this that this pen, um, uh, this also this Pentel Touch Pen is also very similar to um, Ink Studio 273. So if you're looking for a fountain pen and Pentel Touch Pen duo, this is definitely the the duo for that. And then if you're looking for uh, a stamp pad and a Pentel Touch Pen duo, this is definitely a good pairing. But it's always nice to find like. Uh, dupes or not really dupes uh, pairings for these pens because it's nice to do a coordinated spread here and there and then up until recently when i purchased this and received this um i've was using this zoom keen a6 um, universal notebook and this was actually in this cover the count the lights cover but this um this combination of um notebooks and ring rings was like my i don't know favorite thing to to journal with the past few um months uh, especially when i finished setting this up this is actually um from atelier phileas this is one of the most luxurious things i own i feel like the leather is so nice this is handmade in um, japan um and this has browse rings so they are very reliable i think this is if you're in like the rings community the brass rings are like the top notch rings to use and i actually use this as like a tarot journal it's something that i got into this year and i just pull a card and i actually just write down what the card means and 
uh well like the key themes and the card that i pull i use tarot just for like introspection not to like see the future and all that stuff um it's more of like a uh, introspective thing for me so and i just do it for myself i find it really fun um and it's just a way to learn more about myself because i don't know it's kind of like a journaling prompt if you think about it that way um but i just indicate uh the days that i don't pull a card and i just put no and then the days that i do pull i just put um a little title of the card that i pulled and then the key themes this is a file of facts insert and then this is also a file of facts insert this is my weekly pages and i actually just go into more depth here i write the card that i pull and then i also write down the like my little journaling about that card there's not enough space to do more in-depth writing because i realize when i get into it i really want to write a lot and so i've decided that i needed an extra place to write more and so i decided to use my this is pretty much my diary like this holds you know more of my deepest darkest thoughts but um i thought that this would be a nice place to document my um my my tarot journaling and my writing um in here i also do a lot of um book journaling in here so sometimes i i just feel so many feels when i'm reading and i want to write about it i'll write about it in here and kind of like reflect on it and how it relates to me or how i can make a connection to the book it's been really nice but as you can see i just um i just put um a little sticker from uh, a tarot sticker and then write what i pulled and then i just journal about it which leads me to the coolest part of this ring organizer at the notes section i have all of these um tarot stickers um that i hand well i didn't hand cut them but i used my silhouette cutter to cut these out this is from lucky lucky and bucket i guess this is a like a printable um, but i actually got this from my friend joy of oh hi joy shout out to joy because she's awesome she um, gave me these files so i can have a copy of them and i printed them all out this was actually a full-on day of like cutting and setting this up actually multiple days because i had to get these little inserts i got these inserts just from staples um this uh, this is like business card size and so i have all the stickers for all of the cards in the tarot deck here and i really love it it's so satisfying so i usually kind of just take this and if i want to do a short kind of reflection i just take this and a deck like this and i pull a card and then i just note it down um sometimes i just write a short reflection here and that's it but if i want to go in depth i take my a6 journal out and i write about it in here and it's been really nice. Um, I also really love these stickers from uh, Chingai of Practical Magic. She's um, a Filipino um, artist. Um, her collages are beautiful, but she makes these beautiful tarot decks that are all collaged. And I really um, am wanting to get one of her Pinoy Practical Magic decks, which just has Filipino artwork and collage and images on it. But yeah, this is super cool. Really like it. And again, I also do a lot of book journaling in here so i i've been really into making these book reports in my um i guess diary in this notebook this a6 notebook so i have my um uh, review for the midnight library on earth we're briefly gorgeous and then also convenience store woman i've typed these out just because i was not in the mood to write but i wanted to collage them in some way and so i did it in here and i just printed out the book cover for here and i've done other book book journaling stuff in here um let me just see i don't want to flip to something that i shouldn't be showing because i do rant in here quite a bit but yeah there's a few there's a few um kind of book reports in here like mm, maybe not maybe i can't show anything <laughs> oh here the house on the cerulean sea which i did manually i didn't type it out but i usually just put when i started it when i finished it and my rating and then my little review um but yeah i've been loving this and i've been also journaling about my stream anniversary on twitch it's been one year on twitch um so if you haven't checked out um the stationary community on twitch be sure to check it check it out it's really fun and interactive and i stream 
pretty much twice a week um if you um, are interested in more like journaling content check out twitch because there's a lot of awesome journalers and stationary uh fanatics there too but yeah this is one of my favorite discoveries this um this quarter i still journal a lot in my traveler's notebook regular size i would say these are kind of equal in terms of how much i use them um but yeah i think that's it oh last favorite i want to mention is the these um these tiny little crates from um, my stationary pal hall i totally forgot to show a little bit of that but i there's a whole video on the stuff that i got from stationary pal but i just been liking this because again i love a good capsule in terms of stationery so these are the pet tapes and washi tapes that i've been enjoying there's some tapes that are my own some tapes from um fellow creators this one's from abby c um a good friend of mine and she has a lovely youtube channel um and then we have yeah some some tape from happy mail and some other uh, taiwan based creators like um this one this is from Ooh, a kind of cafe and then this is from mr eggplants so that's the first layer and then this is all of my dot stickers that i own so i have the classic -y ones the ones from stationary pal these are the ones from traveler's company and then i also have more dot stickers here from classic -y. i have date dot stickers um basically any kind of circular sticker you'll find it in this area and even like emote um slash emoji stickers or smiley face stickers they go in here because they're slightly round and that's all that matters um but yeah i really like this because i use dot stickers in like every journal spread um i think it's a nice way to anchor things and then i like having you know my capsule of tapes so i have this kind of always open on my desk ready for me to journal and i think it's really helped me with my journaling workflow because i have all the things that i naturally grab for um near me and i just love how these nest i think i want to kind of look into maybe getting other nesting crate type storage items for um, my desk because it's very cluttered over here but I think that is it. There's a lot of things to show. I hope it wasn't too long and too overwhelming, but I'll be sure to leave some more information in the description bar if you have any questions about anything or if you need to find a link, I'll try to leave it down below. Be sure to check out um, all of the wonderful creators mentioned. I think I mentioned Mitz, Abby, um, Aaron, um, Journalist Alter, um, Mirai Cat, and many others. So be sure to check uh, those people out in the description bar below. And again, if you want to see more journaling content, I'm on Twitch uh, twice a week um, on Sundays at 9 p.m p.m pacific daylight time and then on thursdays at six o'clock pacific daylight time as well i think that's it folks be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next time love you all take care and bye